Hi all, very good morning. Today our topic is Performance Testing Life Cycle PTLC. Today this is my topic. Okay. This is very important for the people will start the career in performance testing. Performance test engineer role. Okay. There are two ways. One is performance testing life cycle, second one is performance engineering life cycle also. But uh, currently most of the time people will looking for the performance testers, right? That is one. Today I will take the topic is performance testing life cycle in PTNC. Okay. There are total eight, seven phases available. Okay. Each phase is very important. Okay. Now I will explain. First one is requirement gathering. Prepare the test plan regarding the business process or customization script. Prepare or execute the scenarios. Monitoring the servers. Analyzing the results. Identify the bottlenecks. Identify the bottlenecks. Okay. These are total seven steps for entire our project and it's a repeatedly means a keep on repeating the process also but the, the process is same okay first one requirement gathering okay the requirement gathering totally there are two types okay two types means it's a there is a new application right the requirement you need to ask different okay Application is already in live and there is some performance issues and application is back, written back to the and performance testing purpose at right? that time requirement is different. Okay, most of the people who are the people in working in software industry also sometimes you receive the emails uh, there is a, some application spec uh, specifically the performance degraded or performance issues currently our team is working on. Okay, there is a, some emails you need to coming right. That is same. That is also the same real world application or apps, cloud application, anything. The whenever performance will be degraded, right? It's automatically moving to the performance testing team point of view. In testing and engineering point of view, right? Testing point of view, you need to identify the issue. That is the first main thing. Okay, you need to identify the issue exactly where is there. Okay, that is the first thing. Okay, engineering point of view, right? You need to go very find out the. You need to find out the. You need to find out the exactly where it's happened. Okay, exactly where it's happened. Code level, you need to go them. Okay, in engineering side. Okay, and you will prove the issue after any small um, any small related of the performance issues, right? That one uh, automatically. Uh, based on the what are the tools currently used right you able to resolve that one okay but a uh, high level issues you need to prove that one both performance testing and engineering testing priorities you, you will show the exactly proof right development team you will resolve that issue okay that is the way you need to work in okay requirement right application is new based on uh, it's a what type of application, what are the technologies used to develop, this is uh, every build based application, what type of enrollment, enrollment means load of enrollment, dev, test, um, QA, pre-prod, production, there is so many enrollment, right, production you did not touch, before remaining all the enrollment you able to test, and what is the acceptance, response time, hit for second, throughput, Okay, these are the steps we'll asking for new application. You need to come into the requirement point of view. Okay, all the SLA details also. Okay, and application is already production, right? At that time, you need to ask to the production support team. Production support team, yeah, you need to get the logs. Okay, the application log. that is based on your requirement. You can take um, one week or one month based on one year logs also and in every, all the logs you need to convert it to the our understandable format through groups level and which pages you will get the more hits right that pages you need to take the critical business flows and same new application also same only what are the most important business flows you need to identify and you need to prepare the scripts okay that is the first thing requirement point of view but in requirement point of view, right? First of all, you need to understand the exactly what is your application, okay? And what are what is expecting client in your end? And the same time, what are the details you required? Everything fully you need to ask that time only, okay? You will doing anything 
it's a something you missing otherwise something um, wrongly you are doing right in requirement side entire all flows are impacted that one okay that is the biggest problem okay that is one second one sometime what will be happen right whenever you requirement you already started and some something testing keep on doing okay some of the middle of the time somebody need to came okay uh, i'm not required this way uh, this is the changes you need to do okay that time you need to create another scenarios right that is the biggest problem but uh, nowadays clients also will come in that way only but you need to take the time and you need to prepare and you need to proceed that's all okay first of all you need to ask time time is very important okay uh, not that much of fastly you not able to complete okay in practically okay that is first requirement side second one prepare the test plan okay test plan ptr okay uh, status emails everything in test plan point of view only in test plan you need to clearly mention all the requirement uh, points and uh, uh, what is the hardware configuration details application details what are the test tools what is the in scope what is the out scope especially current performance testing what are the things you are doing and uh, what is the expectation actual all the details you need to mention in the test plan and approved by the client only he will review and he will finally need to approve okay after recording the business flows and customize the script right recording means what are the business flows is most important important right that business flows you need to record in the script and the customization means you need to do our general process correlation parameterization page verification under debugging any advanced scripting related details based on the business flows and scenarios what are the issues or scripting challenges you face right the remaining stuff everything you need to done the in customization script after prepare and execute these scenarios okay Prepare and execute the scenario means based on how much of user load will be provided, what are the tools will be given, total how many scenarios, uh, what is the way you need to execute this uh, the test and what type of test you are executing, what is you, you, you need to achieve that one, okay? And uh, what are the settings you done before the script uh, executing and how long the test is running, okay? And how way you need to run the test, example you are running the uh, J meter distributed load testing right based on how many load generators you are using okay how long you need to test will run and what are the monitoring tools you use to right? remaining everything stuff prepare and execute the scenarios only will done and especially for monitoring the servers monitoring the servers servers means sometime uh, example that is project to project different uh, in my experience point of view some projects will provide it only testing tool only it's not provide any uh, monitoring related stuff okay at the same time that projects it's not required any monitoring related stuff only testing is enough okay that is first one and some projects uh, are not able to provide any monitoring tools but he will give you your own choice okay you have any opportunity yeah you can go ahead okay that time you need to use our general uh, all windows servers or windows applications okay perp mode you need to use and you need to monitor that one linux uh, n1 tools available there is uh, some open source tools right you only learn yourself only you need to monitor that one and uh, some other projects right example our banking related projects are remaining large uh, uh, customization application projects right that time he will automatically will provided all the monitoring tools also you can keep on monitoring that after final one analyzing the results analyzing the results means what are the results test you executed and what is you achieving the goals right all the test results you need to keep on analyze and uh, the you need to prepare the final test reports and share to the stakeholders and your managers everyone and you need to discuss exactly um, what is your expecting and currently what actually you need to execute it okay final one identify the bottlenecks exactly what is the issue based on the something response time will be degraded otherwise the application moving to one server to upgrade it to another server um, new versions right that time also performance will be degraded all the related details 
based on the scenario you need to identify the bottleneck what is the issue okay once you identify the issue right you need to create the, all the jira tickets assigned to the respective development team okay this point of view your performance testing life cycle you completed entire all the steps you've done whenever development team will resolve that issue and creating the new build right you need to start one more time you need to run the performance test and share the results what is the difference in previous and current results but what will be happen right the process it's a keep on running and uh, business related sign offs everything it's a keep on going on but this process right it's not able to stop until the project is end okay the projects also it's a different uh, means the projects also so many different projects some projects it's not moving to live that is the that projects very cool you need to work for some projects based on build every week you need to releasing projects right it's a heavy tension okay you need to complete on time right there are so many problems anybody never lays any your issues okay you need to complete right that reason okay finally this is the performance testing life cycle just my experience based i will explain this uh, this all the details okay uh, anything anybody people you have any more knowledge about the in life cycle point of view just please comment me that one also i will add it to my next video and uh, performance engineering related life cycles in my next video i will provide yeah that's all guys this video you you require any other details please comment me i will provide at my best yeah that's all guys bye everyone